I immigrated here from China. Uh, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are we feeling good still? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not leaving. So. <laughs> yeah, I got in. I got in. And <laughs> it's good. I like it here. When I first moved here, I lived with my grandparents for a really long time, and they do this thing where they like. They do this weird thing where they always have to have 30 to 40 bags of rice at home, you know? I don't know why, I don't know where that comes from. Like, having grandparents is kind of like getting a rescue dog, you know? Like, you don't know what happened to them before they got to you. <laughs> it's like, why are you growling at the TV, you know? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> yeah. And they hoard rice, and, and and we go to Costco for these bags of rice. Do you guys do you guys know Costco? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like it as well, and <laughs> it's good. Uh, and we go to Costco, and there's a saying here. It goes like, uh, "Don't go to the grocery store on an empty stomach, right? Because you end up buying too much." We all know, yeah. Yeah, okay. And we have a similar saying where I'm from. It goes like this. Uh, don't go to the bulk food store if you've ever had a communist dictator. <laughs> yeah. Because you end up buying too much. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> right? It's this a uh, different journey, same destination. We're not so different. <laughs> you guys, let's stop racism. Because <laughs> of this. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's uh, it's a real problem. At the end of the you know Costco trip, you know my grandpa and I were in the parking lot. We don't know how, like we can't fit everything we bought into the car, right? The trunk's open. And we're like, mm -hmm, what? <laughs> we're looking at each other. We're like, what? <laughs> what do we do? And we said this to each other once. We were like, oh, okay. what if we left grandma here? <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> My grandma's listening, right? She's in the huddle, you know? She's like, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, leave me here. Yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> no, it's because if we leave rice there, someone's gonna take it. Right? But if we leave my grandma there, no one's gonna take her. Because she's a burden. <laughs> it's okay, you don't know her. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. But also, I'm joking, okay? Ch relax. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Uh, that's a joke. We've obviously never left her there. Uh, she's 80 years old. That would be really cruel. We've just put stuff on top of her, okay? <laughs> it's okay. She likes it. The rotisserie chicken, it keeps her warm. So it's good. <laughs> it's good for her. We get a lot of moths from these bags of rice. Like, do you guys have know what pantry moths are? You can get it from quinoa, too, if that's... Your <laughs> I'm translating for you. <laughs> I'm bilingual actually. <laughs> yeah, no, like we get moths. Like if you, if you, if you don't know what pantry moths are, uh, basically they sprout from like starches. You know, do, do you know starches? <laughs> yeah, you're you're smart. Yeah, and yeah, they sprout from just like starch. It, that's it. That's all it takes. Just one ingredient, starch, and it makes moth, you know? And it's crazy. Like, uh, but the thing about these moths are, like, they don't care about dying. You know, they're not like mosquitoes. Like, mosquitoes are very much like, no. <laughs> don't kill, no, don't kill me, please. <laughs> that's a good mosquito impression. Uh, if you've ever met one, yeah. And, but moths, like, here's moth, okay? <laughs> here's moth. Do it. <laughs> Here, I won't move. Do it. Try again. <laughs> My mom is a bag of rice. Life has no meaning. <laughs> uh, I have a dog. I have a dog. Do you guys have dog? <laughs> 
all of you? Wow. It's so irresponsible of you of, to leave them at home right now. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's fine. But uh, I have a dog and I got her spayed recently. It's very sad. I know. It's sad. like surgery for a dog. It's crazy, right? Uh, it's very sad, but it just so happens the night before I took her to get spayed, uh, she pooped on my bed. <laughs> so from her point of view, I'm crazy. <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, you poop on my bed? I take your uterus. <laughs> She's been really good since. <laughs> she hasn't pooped on my bed. She hasn't pooped at all. <laughs> She's like, I'll just stop pooping, you know? Don't take any more. <laughs> right? Yeah. Dogs. I love dogs. Uh, I, I, some, have you guys seen those videos where dogs speak English now through buttons? Yeah, they're on TikTok, right? Yeah, they speak English through buttons. Purely because of TikTok, by the way, I think, right? Because, like, What's the point of teaching dog English? You know, like, like, and if you don't know, they basically are the same video every time. It's like a bunch of buttons, and then like the dog in the video is like, I'm sad, <laughs> or something, right? They're all kind of weird vibes, I don't know why. <laughs> They're forced to learn English through buttons, so. And it's, and it's like, yeah, you have to have a TikTok for that, because it's like, who's teaching their dog English through buttons without TikTok? It's like, it's like when a, it's like that, like, when a tree falls in the woods and, and no one saw it, the noise. <laughs> if you have a dog and you teach it English and it has no TikTok, did it, does it really talk? <laughs> does it really fucking, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, I was in Montreal recently, and if you don't know, they speak French there, but they, they like to pretend that English doesn't exist as well. <laughs> they're very much like, they start with, they're like, bonjour, I'm like, hi, and then roll their eyes, right? <laughs> yeah. And so I pull out my buttons, right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sad. <laughs> cool. I'll tell you one more thing about me. I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm queer, I'm bisexual, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. And I don't like it though, I don't like being out of the closet. Is anyone in the closet here? <laughs> Can you, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't like it because of just, there's a lot of pressure like uh, with my female friends, I don't like to tell them you know, this current, this following thing. Um, hey, I'm not interested in you. Don't worry. You're too loud. Um, I don't like that. Yeah. Also, I only want to date Asian girls, so I'm like one of those white guys now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my turn. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you.